All right, before we hop into the video today, just a quick thank you to our sponsor, Sports TNB. Hey, if you play 2K, you know the grind is real. The badge grind can get tough, so if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and everything like that, um, visit SportsTNB.com. Make sure to let him know Hayden YT sent you, and he'll get you everything you need. He's legit. First link in the description down below. Go check it out. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Hayden here. Today, we're back with a brand new video. It's been a few days since we made a video here on the, on the main channel. Had a pretty consistent schedule going, but just got a new job and everything like that. So we're trying to get the schedule back in order. And the news has been kind of light the past few days. So, But now we got some more news here coming out uh, from yesterday, I believe. And Georgia will be adding another graduate transfer here. And uh, Trey McKitty, the tight end, played three years over at Florida State. Uh, Trey is 6'5", 245, so he's almost pushing 250 here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe when he was coming out of high school, Georgia was trying to get him as a recruit, uh, but we missed out. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty, I believe they were in the mix for him back in, what would that be, like 2016? Coming out of high school, coming out of IMG Academy, he was a three-star tight end, as you see right here on the 24-7 on the sports composite rankings. He was the number 18 tight end prospect in that oh, 2017 class, not 2016. Okay, so looking at this article from 24-7, Georgia add another graduate transfer on offensive side of the ball, joining quarterback Jamie Newman. This is the second graduate transfer tight end in two years. As remember last season, we picked up Eli Wolf out of Tennessee. On the tight end side of things, he was the leading tight end receiver and receiving yards, which he didn't have that many, I think like 190. But Eli had 13 for 194, and I believe Charlie Warner only had like nine catches for like 80 yards something like that let's see actually we can it's charlie warner yeah nine for 78 george has always found a way to use the tight ends as more of blockers in the offense i've always been kind of the guy that i'm a big believer in tight ends i think they can they can change the game for you if you use them in the right way obviously tight ends are great run blockers pass blockers like Charlie Warner was. Charlie Warner was a great run blocker. Opened up a lot of holes for Georgia. For these uh, good running backs we've had. Like Swift, Sony, uh, Nick Chubb, and everyone like that. He's been a part of this offense. And the reason why our running game is so good. But adding someone like Trey McKitty. I believe he can come in and be a better passing game option than a blocker. I, don't, I, I watched a couple stats. I mean, I watched a couple highlights. And I didn't really see much of his blocking. There's a couple blocking highlights in there. Where he was able to set the edge on the running game and set the edge um, on some screen plays and things like that. But like I said, I think he can be a better option in the passing game than Wolf and Charlie Warner were. If, if, if we use him in the right way. I think he could be a guy who could probably come in and have an immediate chance to be the starting tight end. Along with someone like Darnell Washington. Obviously we're turning people like Ryland Gody, uh, Brett Scyther. Who else? John Fitzpatrick. So we're returning those three and Wolf and Charlie Warner are graduating. So the two main targets from last season are gone. So we'll have some fresh faces at the tight end position playing a lot more as the guys returning only had one combined catch. I like the way that Florida State actually used Trey McKitty. I, I believe bringing in someone like Jamie Newman will actually be an upgrade like in the, in the play action game, RPO game and everything like that. And I believe Trey McKitty could be a nice a nice piece of that play action game. And I saw FSU use him in a couple interesting ways where they would do a fake sweep and do a toss forward to him. That's something that the Falcons try to do with Austin Hooper a few times. If any of you guys watching are Falcons fans, the Falcons have incorporated a little bit of that into their game with a little uh, toss forward. And I saw FSU use him in a couple interesting ways like that. And I think Georgia could probably do the same with McKitty if we mess around and change up our offense a little bit which I think we might be doing bringing in someone like Jamie Newman more of a dual threat kind of guy at the quarterback position see here McKitty had 26 catches in 2018 23 and 2019 256 in 2018 and 241 in 2019 and looking at those stats if you put him on Georgia's roster this past year he would be the leading guy by he'd be the leading tight end receiver by a nice amount of yardage so like I said, I already see that being an upgrade in the passing game at the tight end spot with McKitty. Like I, said, I don't know much about his blocking style, but of course coming to Georgia, you're going to have to be a good blocking tight end to get onto the football field. So we'll see what happens with that. I think it said in the article that, yeah, 
he can't enroll until the summer so he won't get the benefit of playing in the spring or going through spring drills and everything like that so we'll see what happens with that and we'll also see what happens with Darnell Washington another tight end coming in like I said Brett Scyther, Rylan Goatee, John Fitzpatrick returning I oh, forgot to do his statement uh, so he announced uh, coming to Georgia on Twitter kind of in the same way that Jamie Newman did Jamie Newman I'm not sure what happened with the McKitty news like if it broke before he announced on Twitter but Jamie Newman was supposed to be where announced on Twitter so he could have his kind of have his moment and be the be the first to report his own news but that didn't happen the news broke a little bit early but it is what it is but McKitty um, on Twitter said after careful after careful consideration and many prayers I decided to transfer to the University of Georgia to continue my collegiate career Excited to become a part of the UJ family. Can't wait to see what the new year has in store. Hashtag go dogs. So yeah, that's the second graduate transfer coming in for Georgia in this offseason so far already. Jamie Newman at quarterback, Trey McKitty at tight end. Bringing in a couple new offensive pieces into the system. And I think Georgia Georgia has the weapons to, to get the job done with these new receivers coming in. New receivers returning. Or not new receivers returning. Receivers returning from last year. We have veterans on this team now at the, at the night at the right spots on the football field on the offensive side bringing in someone like mckitty is a veteran who can maybe be able to teach these younger guys like darnell washington coming in and some of the other younger guys on the roster but yeah like i said we have the weapons to get the job done on the offensive side now i believe it just comes down to executing the game plan and and if we do it the right way i believe this offense could be pretty special going into the 2020 season so yeah that's all we have for today's video just wanted to talk a little bit about trey mckitty coming to georgia other than that, I wanted to get back to the commit videos here pretty soon. Let me know in the comments who you want to see next on the commit videos. Probably going to do maybe Jalen Kimber. That's the one I'm thinking of, the cornerback prospect. Uh, with that said, make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps out the channel. Hit the rest subscribe button down below. Hit the post notification bell to know when I post content on this channel. Comment down below what you think of Trey McKitty coming to Georgia, what he can bring to this offense. And yeah, other than that, it's been Hayden. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.